Welcome to Lab 4 Simulation part of our course FPGA VHDL lecture series. So, in Lab 4, we did an implementation of the if else statement in VHDL. Now, we will try to simulate the hardware and check if our hardware that was made from Lab 4 is working fine or not. This is the code that we wrote in lab 4. Here we have four inputs A, B, C, D, three select lines and one output. If select line 0 is 1, that is high, digital high, then the output is same as A, that is Y assigns to A or A assigns to Y. If select line 1 is 1, then B assigns to Y select line 2 is 1, C assigns to Y and if none of these is 1 then D assigns to Y. This was the priority logic that we made in lab 4. Let us go ahead and make a simulator a simulation for the same. Right click on the project, click on new source, click on VHDL test bench let us give it a suitable name next next finish and here we are welcomed by the same test bench screen that Xilinx software makes for us so the first step would be to go to the simulation on the top left hand corner then the second step would be to remove all the clocks just like in the case of previous labs. I have removed all the clocks right now. Now, in a test bench, we initialize we initialize all the inputs. Here, let us say the inputs are 1, 0 0 and 1 now let us initialize the select line as a value 1 0 0 which means select line 2 or the second bit of the select line is set and the zeroth and first bit are reset. Then let us wait for 10 nanoseconds. Now let us make the select line as 001. Again wait for 10 nanoseconds. Then make select line as an interesting number of 0, 1, 1 then wait for 10 nanoseconds finally let us make the select line as 0, 0, 0 so here we expect that during the first case the output should be same as the input A or rather the input C in the second case, the output should be same as input A. In the third case, the output should be same as input A, although select line 1 is also 1. So, this means that when select line 0 is 1, the status of select line 1 is not at all being processed by the hardware because if else is a priority logic finally we have 0 0 0 so we want the output to be same as D let us go ahead and save this and then go and do behavioral check syntax here we can see that the behavioral check syntax 
gave a green tick, which means that our syntax was right. Let us go ahead and simulate the behavioral model. Here we see the same ISIM simulator window. Let us go ahead and zoom out so that the scroll bar is manageable. Here we can see that the select line is made initially 000. During that time, the output the output was nothing because of the initial 100 nanosecond delay. Firstly, the select line was 100 after the 100 nanosecond delay. When it is 100, the output must be same as C because select line 2 was 1. So here we can clearly see that the output was same as C. Then the select line vector was made 001 which means that select line 0 was set. Here we wanted the output to be same as A. So here we can clearly see the, that the output is same logic level as A that is high. Then the interesting number of 0 1 1 here select line 0 and select line 1 both are high but select line 0 has a higher priority or higher importance over select line 1 so select line 0 is taken into consideration and the output is same as a because of select line 0 being set finally when we give the select line as 0 0 0 the output is same as D, which is expected from the else statement in our if else structure. So thus, we have confirmed our hardware design and we can see that the design which we did in VHDL is working fine. That's it.